Hi everyone, let's take a look at the following example. Consider the following diagram. In parts A, B, C, D, E, F, they're asking you to determine the coordinates of A, B, C, D, E, F. Step one, look at this point, six, two, four. Look at this point, zero, 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 also known as the origin. The question becomes, how do we go from the beginning all the way to six, two, four? So you look at the x-axis, which is right here, and in the positive direction, you move six units. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step two, you look at the y-axis, and you move two units in the positive direction, which is basically two to the right. Step three, you look at the z-axis, and you move up by four units. One, two, three, and four. So again, from zero, 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 that's how you arrive to six, two, four. Now, in the first part, determine the coordinates of A. A must be six, zero, zero. So again, this point right here, six, zero, zero. Now, what about the coordinates of B? So, in this case, it's going to be 6, 2, 0. And again, you can always trace this by going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you go right by 2, just like that. Now, for part C, determine the coordinates of C. And in this case, we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the x-axis. You don't move left or right on the y-axis and you go straight up by four. So what this means is C is gonna be six, zero, and four. Now, press pause, try DEF all by yourself. And when you press play again, I'll be here. Welcome back everybody. Now here's the next part, the coordinates of D. So notice from the beginning, you don't go in the positive direction or the negative direction on the x-axis. You also do not move to the left or to the right on the y-axis, but you will move up by four. This implies the coordinate of D is going to be zero, zero, four. For part E, again, I'm starting at 0, 0, 0. I don't move on the x-axis, but I am going to go to the right by 2, and then up by 4. This means E must be 0, 2, 4. Last but not least, if I look at F, Again, I start from 0, 0, 0. I do not move forward or backward on the x-axis. I am going to go to the right by 2. And I don't go up or down on the z-axis. So this means f is going to be 0, 2, 0. I hope this makes sense.